The angelic ministration. They were demons. They, uh, they sit and the devil has his own angels like they are called demons. And they are there, they want to be doing as if they know better than God Almighty. Look at the Satan, the devil, who is himself an angel. He himself was what? An angel. Satan, the devil. Asking the Lord God Almighty, Papa God that created him during the time of temptation. What did he tell him? He said, Bow down to me. Worship me so that I give you the whole earth. He thought he can trick him the way he tricked Adam. But Papa God said, He said, Don't tempt your Lord your God. You are to worship only Jehovah God. Amen. 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 This man don't make me the shade here. <laughs> Luke 22. <laughs> let me, let me. <laughs> Jesus, may you reign, may you reign. Jesus, may you Those ones are the ones that believe. 
that you have to punish yourself before you get righteousness. They are sinners. And there are those who are teaching about people worshipping the stars, worshipping the elements of the earth and of the world. People are rushing to listen to those people. Jesus was groaning. Because he looks at the people and says, yeah, why should I even die? Why should I die? These people are not ready to receive what I have brought for them. They are not ready to take in the grace to accept what God has done for them. I mean, you know it yourself, you didn't create yourself. You know it yourself that you did not create yourself. I know it myself also. I only wake up one morning, I begin to grow, I begin to realize I have somebody called Father. I started growing and I realized I have somebody called mother. And I look, I saw that, oh, I have somebody called senior brother and senior sister. And before I know it, I'm already having somebody called junior sister. Before I know it, I'm seeing that I have uncles. I'm seeing that I have aunties. I'm seeing that, oh, this is my family. I didn't plan it before I came here. God made it to be possible. But yet, the generation of the people of the world are so ungrateful. Jesus was praying. He put his disciples were sleeping while he was praying. He told his disciples, he said, come and join me and pray. The disciples were sleeping. But he went ahead because of the goal, because of the vision, because of his calling. He went ahead on his knees and he started praying. My brothers and my sisters, you are the only one that can fight for yourself. You are the only one that can fight for yourself. Jesus fought for himself. And your determination to see things work out well for you is what God will touch with his grace to make it work for you. Give me an amen. Yes. Amen. amen. Jesus was crying, praying. He said, God, let this stop pass you. What did you do? What you do? The wahala and the problem of the people. Let me not die. There is no need. Eh? I came in a mysterious way before I entered into the womb of, uh, of Mary. Let me just vanish like that. <coughs> there is no need. He said, but not my will be done. Let your will be done. When we are determined to do the work of God, when we are determined to do the will of God, when we are determined to live righteously, the grace for doing it will become abundant. When he made up his mind and he said, Lord, not my will be done, but your will. If I look at my experiences with human beings, I will say I will not die. If I check the way they are treating me, Despite all the miracles I did in their midst, despite all the way I fed the thousands, and yet they are not grateful. They are the one even speaking evil against me day in day out. They say, Papa, I can't continue with this race. But let your will, what you have written concerning me only, let it be done. And the Bible said, 42, 42. And the Bible said, as he prayed, says, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. 43. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, straightening him. We are talking about how the angels, they come to help us. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, threatening him to be able to carry the cross, to be it. Do you see why at times you go through trouble that people think you will die, you never die? You have an angel threatening you. At times people will go through some kind of sicknesses that will scatter their life. And we not make them to be able to live well again. But these people, even in the sickness, in that distortion, in that thing that the enemy think he has destroyed, they serve God even more. There is an angel straightening. 
Because if you go through the troubles of life without breakdown, without depression, it is an angel of God. When the angel of God strengthened him, he stood up. He went to them. He said, you are sleeping. Don't worry. Prayer has been answered. Let us go and face the Wahala. Every one of them ran. Jesus went to the cross. Because an angel gave him strength. May God put angels around you. Amen. To strengthen you for the journey of life. Amen. In your mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That was what happened during the time of Daniel. Daniel was put into the lion's den. The Bible said, when Daniel was responding to Nebuchadnezzar, he said, God sent his angel to shut the mouth Who wants to hit you? Who wants to destroy you? The angel of God, sent by God Almighty to minister unto you, will shut their mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible tells us. Amen. Amen. If we go to the book of Zechariah, Zechariah is just filled with angel, angel, angel. The whole book of Zechariah is the administration of angel. But before we go there, do we remember that it was the angel that ministered unto Mary for before Mary could have a child? It was still angel that ministered also to Elizabeth, and Elizabeth have a child. The same angel ministered also to the parents of Samson. I mean, yes. in the book of Judges, and Samson came. That means women, eh? huh? not be that man, they bring the children to. It is the angel of God. By the Spirit of God. I didn't write this down, but I want to quickly look for it. In the book of Judges concerning Samuel, uh, Samson, I want to quickly look for it. Please, if you can help me find that quickly. I want to quickly look for it. I want somebody to help me quickly to look for it. <coughs> yes, it's Judges, but which of the Judges? Judges 13. Judges 13. Yeah, Amen. Judges 13. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that there was this woman. Amen. Amen. It's, uh, from verse 2, it says, And there was a certain man of Zora, of the family of the Danites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and being not. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her, Behold now thou art barren, and bearest not, but thou shalt conceive and bear a son. Amen. Amen. Now therefore be there, I pray thee, and drink not wine or strong drink, and eat not an unclean thing. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear a son, and no razor shall come on his head, for the child shall be a Nazareth unto God from the womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistines. Now, I want to just concentrate a little bit on four. He said, I pray thee, woman, Drink not wine, nor strong drink, and eat not an unclean thing. This is something that has been stopping the angel from acting. This woman has been enjoying drink, enjoying wine, enjoying strong drink, and eating unclean things, polluting her body. But because the time of deliverance has come, the time, the certain time for God's purposes to come to pass. I don't know who I'm talking to now. God sent the angel to tell the woman, stop doing these things. Stop these things 
that you are used to. I want to give you a child that will bring glory to my name. But your behavior, your eating on clean things, your character, your bitterness in the heart, your missing to do with Christianity. I'm talking to somebody here. I don't know who, but I'm talking to somebody. Probably listening to me on the internet. I don't know, but I know I'm talking to somebody. What have you been using to pollute your body, polluting your life? Have you been smoking, drinking, making the angels not to come close to you? Do you know that if you are pregnant, pre science will tell the people not to, that are smokers to stop smoking. Women, am I lying? They know that your smoke can destroy the time. I mean, this is all that they smoke for outside. You don't want to smoke so that pastor will see you. But I see you in the spiritual. Amen. Amen. Now, I remember one time I entered bus. One of our sisters in those days, in Nottingham, she was blowing the cigar on bus stop. <laughs> she didn't know that I was in the bus. Immediately she saw me, hey, pastor! Now I said, no, drop her. I don't see you already. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, pretext. You drop her. I said, no, ma. Ah, ma, it's respecting you now. I said, oh. You see me, you say you respect me, you drop cigar, but you smoke it and you think God does not see you. Who should you respect? Disrespect me and honor God. It's better for me. Why are you deceiving yourself? But thank God she's no longer smoking for a very long time now she has stopped because God delivered her. Why are you pretending? I told her immediately, stop it. You are destroying yourself. Don't tell me that you are respecting me. That is not respect because you dishonor God. You know, I went to the bed again. Who could insult me? Man, I don't insult me. But then determine in your heart that because of God, you will stop it. So women and men. I'm not talking about only giving birth to a child. I'm talking about the angels helping you to be fruitful, helping you to be successful. Because that is what they have been sent to do for you and I. But there are certain behaviors that we behave. There are certain characters of our lives that makes the angels to distance themselves from us. We pray prayer, God answer the prayer and send the angels. But we block them because of our character. We block them because of our behaviors. We block them because of the kinds of things that we use our mouth to say and that we use our minds to think. Everyone that wants the glory of God to shine through him or her, we do and be prepared to do the will of God. So they told that woman, go and get yourself prepared because you are going to bear a child. An angel was sent for that purpose. The woman told the husband, hmm? the man of God, did not, the husband did not believe so the angel has to come a second time. You know, at times, women might go to, you know, women will not have to run around all the crusades and everything. Women will go to crusade. Man of God will say, you have your child. Or oh, your husband will make it. You will come home with tell your husband. Man of God will say, no, man, no, those people, they are not those fake pastors. Who spoiled, who spoiled the prophecy? Now, man of God has been a mouth of the man. Now, mouth of the man. And I taught us last year, or two, two years ago, the authority of the man in the family. Yeah. That is why, men, you have to be careful because what you allow is what happens in your home. So that was what this woman did, and this man did. Manoah, he did not believe the wife. The wife went into prayer and said, God, send the angel a second time. So God sent the angel. The second time, even the manoir himself prayed. So if what my wife is saying is true, Father, I want a confirmation. And the angel came. The angel spoke with them. And they did something that I like. They gave the angel food to eat. Maybe they say, maybe I don't put that and often. Maybe you do listen to them. Hmm? 19. 
He said, so, Manoah took a kid with a meat offering and offered it upon a rock unto the Lord, and the angel did wondrously, and Manoah and his wife looked on. For it came to pass, 1920, for it came to pass, when the flame went up towards heaven from the altar, that the angel of the Lord descended in the flame of the altar, and Manoah and his wife looked on it and fell on their faces to the ground. For the angel of the Lord did not did no more appear to Manoah and to his wife. Then Manoah knew that it was an angel of the Lord. They gave an offering. They gave a sacrifice to the Lord. And God received the sacrifice. So you don't have to listen. Pray prayers and do everything that God said we should do. I tell us that the law of the New Testament is stronger than that of the Old Testament. When it comes to giving, New Testament says bring that. It says bring offering. It says bring yourself sacrificially. Hmm? It's not the one that you want worshiping God through priests. You yourself present yourself as a living sacrifice unto God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May your angels deliver your fruitfulness unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. May God send his angels to deliver fruitfulness unto you in your mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And when the blessings come, you will not reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. When the blessings come, you will receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I just want to rush through Zechariah. Zechariah is one prophet that almost every pages that he wrote, he was communicating with an angel. He was what? Communicating with an angel. That was what we used for the ninth vigil. Zechariah chapter 1. We use it to pray for the ninth vigil. If you see right from the beginning, yeah, I'm not going to. But it, it was just speaking of blessings, speaking of great things. Talk the about Zechariah 1, 19. He said, And I said unto the angels that talk with me, What this be? And he answered me, These are the ones which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And then he, the Lord showed me four carpenters. And then I asked the angels, What are these carpenters? And he said, These are the ones which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. Look at God sending the angels to tell Zachariah, This is the problem, this is the solution. When you listen to the word of God, you will hear the voice of the angel giving you solutions to the problems of your life. Amen. And may your angels bring solutions Amen. as God directs them to bring in your mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you go to chapter 2, first three, he said, And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him. And said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as thou without walls, for the multitude of men are cattle thereof. Because the enemy has brought that place, made the place to be desolate. Five, he said, For I said, The Lord will be unto her a war of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. It was an angel that was delivering that message that says that God said, he is the war of fire around you. Amen. Did God not say, touch not my anointed that do my prophet know her? Yeah. Why? Because he is the war of fire. But it was an angel that came to deliver that message to Zachariah and said, prophesy, speak it. Talking about the ministration and the visitations of the angel. We are going into. He said, I love to read this eight. He said, For thus says the Lord of hosts, after the glory that he sent me unto the nations which spread you, for he that touched you touched the apple of his eyes. Messages from God delivered by angels unto his prophet so that you can hear it. Have you seen yourself as the apple of the eye of God? 
That was what the angel was telling the wife of Manoah. He said, stop drinking start a strong drinks. Stop eating unclean things. Stop taking things that will defy you. Gossiping, murmuring, complaining. They defy bitterness, envy, lying, covetousness, stealing. They defy the body. He said, stop taking in the things that defy. Because that time it was animal. Now, in New Testament, they say, once you give thanks, you can eat. Now, watch your bring that car, drop her. In Old Testament, it was forbidden. Very rotten animal. He said, give thanks and you can eat anything. So, when he's talking about unclean things in our days, he's not talking about those things any longer, but the things the Bible says, it's not what comes out, it's not what you eat that defies you, but what comes out of you. Is that not what Jesus said? Yes. It's not what you eat that defies you, but what comes out of you. What are the things that comes out of you? Lying. Bitterness. Envy. Hatred. These are the things that comes out of you, and that is what defines so when we are talking about you not taking in on clean things, not eating on clean things, we are telling you don't make envy, don't make bitterness, don't make lying, don't make stealing, don't make covetousness, don't make gossiping, murmuring and complaining to become part of you. Don't eat it. It's written in the book of Colossians. Chapter 3. So we are not going there. Amen. Amen. If you go to 3, chapter 3, he talks about those who have been clothed with a fitting garment. Who came to remove the garment? An angel. Amen. Amen. Three, three. He said, now Joshua was clothed with fitting garment and stood before the angel. <coughs> in short, before I read that one, just uh, verse one first, my darling. He said, and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord. And Satan, standing at his right hand to resist him. I remember at the beginning I said it. It's like you will be hearing one voice here, another voice here. Reject the voice that is not according to the Bible, because that is demonic. Hear the one that is according to the Bible. How can he stand with fitting garment? He said the angel of God is there, and Satan was there to resist. So that the angel of the Lord will not do what the angel of the Lord is supposed to do. Why? Because Joshua was dirty. The dirtiness of Joshua did not make the angel to be able to do what the angel is supposed to do. Is somebody hearing me? Yes. You want your angels to walk, be clean. You want your eyes to be seen things like Elisha. And I said, God, open the eye of my servant, let my servant see that the host of heavens around them have murdered our enemies. It takes a righteous life to see righteous things. It takes a life that trusts in God that to see the spiritual things of God. Is somebody hearing me today? Is somebody following me today? Is somebody agreeing with me today? Then give a loud amen. amen. Give a loud shout of amen. And he said, the Lord rebuke you. May God love you so much as he has sent his son to die for you that your sin will not disturb his grace to work for you in Jesus' name. Amen. God will have mercy upon you Amen. and his blood will wipe away your sins Amen. so that you can be a partaker of his blessings Amen. in your mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will see in the case of Joshua, he was already Dated, filtered, made rotten by Satan the devil, and Satan was happy, destroying the Son of God. And God said, The Lord rebuke you. And I speak as the servant of the Most High God. Every manipulative spirit around you, the Lord rebuke them in Jesus' name. Yeah. Every satanic power around you, the Lord rebuke them in Jesus' name. Yeah. Every power that is coming to resist and to oppose your blessings, the Lord rebuke them in your mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. And Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood 
before the angel. You see, God rebuked Satan first before the angel can walk. And he said, take away what? The filthy garment. That means that the angels, they come when we pray and read the Bible to pull out of our lives everything that does not give glory to God. When we pray the prayer, the Father, whatever you have not planted in my life, we take it away. The Lord will say, oh, I hear the voice of my daughter crying unto me to come and remove everything that I have not put in her life. Angel this and angel that. Go and pluck it away from my life. Amen. Amen. That was what happened here. There is nothing you can do for yourself than pray and read the word of God. It is the ministry servants of God who are sent to minister unto those who inherit salvation, which is you and I. They are called the angels. Those are the ones that take away the trouble, that bring about the deliverance and bring the blessings into your life because they are sent to do it and you are receiving yours in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Five more minutes. He said, the angel of the Lord protested and oh, let me jump from there. That is that one there. Yeah. If you go to four again, he said, and the angel of the Lord that talked with me came again and wake me as a man that is waking out of the sleep. <coughs> I so much, so much, in, I was so much interested in this book of Zechariah now as I'm talking about the ministration of, of angels because every chapter, I tell every chapter, it was angel ministry to this. I said, Father, I need a grace. I said, Lord, I need this grace that was upon Zechariah, your prophet. The grace that makes him to see everything that needed to be seen. He was able to see what was happening to Joshua the priest. That the manipulation upon the Joshua the priest was not because Joshua the priest wanted it. It was the enemy that wore him a fitting garment. The eye of the prophet saw that, saw that and delivered the priest. And the prophet is coming to visit us this weekend. Amen. You have a prophetess in the house. But a prophet is coming to visit us. Amen. Prophet Simon, I hear me now. He's coming to visit us again this weekend. Amen. And I know, yes, a round of applause for my God. I know that great things is going to happen. Amen. Even this time, I was skeptical about the whole thing. Then I, after some time, I shook up. We showed the day he told me that I will stay at your place. I said, Ah, devil, you are a liar. So you join me in put for the manipulation. Oh, now hear the two I talk. He joined me put for the manipulation. Mm -hmm. Now I said that this time around, therefore you don't dare finish. I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Me myself, I said, two men will never make enough money this time around. It is well. I mean, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> But when God touched him and said, I will stay in your house, I said, ah, I was in Frankfurt. And I said, Lord, what, the, what is it that has been happening? So does it mean that this young guy that is a demon has joined me to the manipulation for a whole me to, to be agreeing that there is no need? Even though I know we need? Now I said, may God punish it several times in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So he's coming this weekend with the power of God to deliver and to save and to bless. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit know that God is bringing his prophet again. Yes. And great things are going to happen. Yes. Because he took the eye of the prophet to see the fitting garment that, it, that was upon the priest to remove it. Amen. Amen. Something deliverance, great deliverance is going to happen this weekend. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The same thing. For I like the fall. He said, the angel that talked with me came again and wake me as a man that is waking out of the sleep. I said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick, all of gold with a bow. And they explain and they explain. And then, what was the meaning of that? The angel explained. He said, use the rubber way. He said, all the great mountains Another name again is the Rob Babu, not be Zachariah the right. How many people 
people is God using this Zachariah to deliver. Are you getting what I am saying? Oh, I put something. I said this weekend, a lot of things will happen in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have talked about high priest. We have talked about the blessings on the church. That is chapter one. It started from the blessings of the church. That was what we used to pray in night vigil. Because he said, I will read one of the blessings. He said, Cry ye, say, thus says the Lord of hosts. My city is through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall yet choose Jerusalem. Is that true prosperity? True ego, true good life, true well-being. Shall my cities be spread abroad? That was a first blessing for the church. And then he entered into the church. And the cost that the enemy placed upon the priest. Enter into the church, started picking the elders and the people in the church. He said, who are you, O mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a healing. Told us he will build a wall of fire because he himself is that wall of fire. If you can, please read the whole book of Zechariah. I've just given you a prologue of the ministration of angels. Read the book of Zechariah and start taking in all the blessings that God has written here by the ministrations of the angels. Because of the time. It took plenty, but may I leave on. Please read it, okay? Read it. Read it, read it, read it. <laughs> read it. Excite! I am zealous for Zion with great jealousy. And I was zealous with her with great fury. I asked you people to bring uh, prayer points. Did you do that? No. Not next week. I said you should bring it so that I can pray upon it before that day. Why you now give me heavy work? I want to start my fasting and prayer and pray on the uh, prayer point from tomorrow onward. Why do you want to give me big work so that it will be on Friday before I start praying? Then if you know if you don't work when I was on a pass or no get anointed, I'm not serious. Eh? When I go to say I don't get anointed, it will not come work. When I don't no give me chance, make I take prayer point. Write your prayer point to come drop and for out. And may you bring seed. But I know we we'll laugh for that one. <laughs> hey Amen. Do you love me? Yes, I love you too. He said the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls. The, 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 the promises is too much in the book of Zechariah that God has spoken through the mouth of the prophet. Let's go to Hebrews and then we close. Because I can see that if I continue, it will go, 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 go hard. Because if I want to go through the whole of Zechariah, explaining the things, three hours never do me. But I've just given you little, little, little. Read through it and God will grant you revelation to settle the matters of your own life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hebrews 12, Verse, from verse 22, he said, But you have come unto Mount Zion, where you are now, anointing of God ministries. He said, And unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. <laughs> Hebrews 12, 22. He said, you have come to Mosiah, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to the uncountable companies of angels. When you are in the church, the angels of God are there to minister to you. Amen. So you have come to a place where God has put plenty of angels to help you. But don't get them offended. Don't allow filthy garments to enter your body. Take up the righteousness of God. Psalm 23 said, 
lead me in the paths of your righteousness for your name's sake. Let me walk in the path of your righteousness. Shall me? For your name's sake, because of you, lead me in that path of righteousness. The righteousness that you have prepared enable me to walk through it. It takes the power of God to do the works of God. And the grace to do his work. The grace to follow his ways. The grace to live the life that God wants you to live. That grace come upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come this weekend with great expectations. The Bible says when you are coming to his house, come with expectations as you are coming with thanksgiving. Come with great expectations that this revival will not pass me by. That this is my own time for deliverance. My own time for my blessings. My own time for breakthrough. As you come with that expectation, praying already from now onward. Fasting. If not in 12, you want to do If not in 1, not in 3, not in 6. If not by both. That one be say you jam man, now you robot the call of Bible. Sorry, I know that I be a do. I hear you robot pass my language when I know verse with me. Now where I grow for Nigeria, amen. Me I say me na wo. So kala I'm work at Bible. Me I say at Bible say pray and join together, amen. That one is my native language. <laughs> amen. So join them if you like. Do three days. Don't give up because you are the only one that can help yourself. Jesus didn't give up. He went to the cross. All the intercessors around him did not pray with him. He prayed himself, strengthened by an angel. He went to the cross for you and I. This week, let it be a lonely, a lonely fight. You, God, and the angel that he will give to strengthen you. Amen. And his physical angel will come this weekend. Amen. Joining me and Papa, and we will release blessings. Amen. And your life will not be the same again. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless his only words in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.